let's get start demo first of grpc server reflection and http to grpc so here i just running my applications over here which is this port right if i copy this guy and see if i am open the postman as of now nothing is happening right so once i add my grpc service uh, url right with user local host and all automatically got all that uh, whatever service we have exposed right so those services we are available without any import file right so that is called a grpc reflection if i add another method for example let me add quickly another method let me stop that and run it ugly application again application running again right so once i just go back again here and just refresh now see again another method populated automatically so that is called actually reflection so whatever service you just you know implement your application automatically got reflection and you can got over here so this is one feature now another feature we have to implement in here that is called here like over the http so grpc actually basically be required you know client to connect to server right so here we will implement we will actually uh, integrate a http client so that if i want to you know hit that http over that http client so i get that response so like that see uh, over here see i just call you know this http uh, endpoint right version greater and then our name and then we got that response as well and last things we have to implement over here uh, that swagger open ai so that swagger open ai we will implement also in this grpc so these are things actually we will implement quickly so move forward to uh, implementation so before uh, start to implementation i'm especially recommend if you first time visit my channel so i'm especially recommend uh, this guy this guy grpc get started because i just covered everything what is grpc why do we need the grpc and what is that project project structure and all right so everything actually before proceeding you have to cover this guy because we have to take same example from there right so take the same example so where is my example this is my example which already also you will you will get that my github link so let me quickly open now my application is running over here and here uh, this is a simple uh, template of grpc if i run this application now my application is running over this port right and let me see quickly how it's working uh, what the existing behavior so let me quickly new grpc service and if i pass over here and see it is not reflection reflection right because method is not available because we have not implemented so let me implement one by one everything so let me minimize then and here so what i need to do first for that reflection implementation so first i need to add one package so go to the project right click on that go to that new get package right and go to the browser and here i'm looking one reflection package so that is called grpc reflection so looking for that package over here and this guy so let me zoom in for you this is that package grpc sp.net core server dot reflection so quickly install this guy so once you complete installation uh, adding in this our project right so once you what you need to do next you have to go to you know your program.cs file and here we have to use uh, one extension method for that so where is that here i will use that builder dot service dot add grpc uh, reflection this guy this is extension method actually which is provide that nougat package so that is one you have to just add and now second thing see so you have to over here uh, in this you know uh, middleware right so in this middleware inside this app we have to use that map grpc reflection service right so this middleware also we have to specify in this middle layer right so that is done this is very simple implement implementation of reflection right so only you have to add this service extension button and then using a middleware that's it and let me quickly run and see now it is running copy this guy go back to postman and now see this time is nothing right so what i will do quickly create a new one 
and add it over here and now see i am getting my method or my service whatever i have exposed that uh, service right so that i am getting over here without do anything only just specify our uh, url right only just url localhost and then and then i am getting over here so let me quickly show you if i just increase or just adding a, another method how they get reflecting again so let me quickly create another method over here and add suppose method right and save it and normally whatever we returning just as it is returning just for a demonstration perspective so quickly stop that application and run it again so it is running and go back to here right and once you here and then refresh see whatever service you have automatically got populated over here so that is called actually uh, grpc server reflection so that is done now second thing we have to implement yeah let me show you so let me quickly copy this guy url and then if you just hit the browser now see it is saying if you want to grpc endpoint uh, over here so you require a you know, grpc client right so using that client you have to able to do that and if i want to something for example v1 and uh, for example this this is my endpoint suppose right and once i hit enter it is not allowed because still they don't know how actually adding that http uh, http request and get that request and how return back the response so we need to an allow or we need to enable actually that http request and then re response so how we can do that go back to again your application stop that for this we have to record another one package so go to that nuget package we require that package call it let me cancel it over here the package name is json transcoding so use the json transcoding package to add in your project so this is that guy let me zoom in for you so this guy you have to just install whatever your current package uh, framework use that compatibility and apply and accept so this is one now second things also again we have to just allow, allow or we have to add some uh, extension method for that and also middleware pipeline so what is that now and again you have to just you know whatever your extension method over here like builder service dot add grpc so let me add one extension method that is called add json transcoding right so this is one setting you have to add it that's it right and now next you have to just allow okay that http request can accept right so see if you go back to your proto service right so here uh, that http request cannot understand over here it is simple expecting that request right so here we have to slightly uh, in, you know uh, modification our request so that http request can accept over here so what i need to do that so let me modify for this so let me add this new uh, method over inside this year i will use that options and then in this options we use that lambda functions like that okay google and don't worry about that as of now we don't have as a google but yeah we have to import this reference google api dot http so this is one package this will be allowed to uh, that call making call of http so here we have that all the test http verb like suppose get post put and delete everything so don't worry about that as of now i just you know cover that okay how we can enable but yeah in upcoming session uh, in upcoming session i will cover you know integrate this uh, grpc in clean architecture with everything like uh, all that you know insert update delete everything we will cover with that clean architecture so now what i need to do simple i will use that get method and inside that get method what would be my uri so URI would be suppose version one v1 and v1 right and then it would be your greater service whatever service you can just put it over here and then finally we have to get that parameter name so what is that parameter if you see this request so in this request we have that name parameter so just pass it to over here as a name parameter as a uri parameter right and here we something miss actually 
so this is that one this one and this is that guy and this is that guy now see it's have some issue right so that's why it's not uh, properly colored right so what i miss suppose see once i use options so i just miss that space so if you put that space you will get these things right so it should be on a different color so like that okay it is just clean code right you just have to implement these things right using that google api http so how we'll get that google http all right if you if you're trying to build let me trying to build over here so definitely we'll get that error so what is that error okay that expecting that uh, colon right so okay let me quickly add okay so why default i just wrong one so yeah this one should be close and let me build again so once you build again now see you will get error okay option this unknown for this definition right that is expecting why because i'm using this google api http but we are actually it is right so that's why we have to just reuse you know one file you know one annotation google annotation file which i have to import over here so where i will get that file don't worry i'll share in my repository you can get it from here so let me quickly copy and paste it over here So once you paste now see I'm getting this folder right in the Google folder inside we have a API folder and then we have a this two file we record this two file to make your HTTP call in our gRPC so first is that annotation prototype so we don't need to do an anything over here we can just import it nothing else right and also it is importing internally like in you know, a Google API HTTP and all right so we don't bother about that and then second one is started http proto so this also fine it will just connect internally so we don't need to do anything on that so you have to import this guy and once you import you have to just uh, uh, you know uh, add the reference over here as well so how we can add that reference simply where is your package right so that you can just import using that import google api annotation file right because this is a path google api and annotation file so once you add these things so now let me try to build now build is succeed right there is a no error and we can just try to run so it is running over here now go back to again go back to browser see this is same uh port and v1 and then greater whatever service actually i expose right so this one right uh, v1 greater and name and before that i have just add my uh, url base url right so this is my base url let me quickly show you this is my base url and then v1 greater and this is my parameter so this is my parameter and once i hit enter now i am successfully getting that response using that http request right so now this way actually you can easily allow that http request and response in your grpc service so this is also done now last things actually we have to do for the allow that open ai api for that swagger right so for example see once i use swagger so it is not allow actually it is not showing any method and all right so this is another for the development perspective actually you can allow that swagger so that everybody don't bother okay what is that request what is the response and all swagger actually it inbuilt functionality they will handle everything so go back to again your application over here and implement that swagger so uh, swagger open ai so how we can do that for that again go to that uh, nuget package we have to require one nuget package it is pretty much similar uh, things which we have already covered in web api because open ai swagger allow is a normal normal implementation right so first i need to add one package that is actually also inside this grpc that is called this guy so let me quickly show you microsoft sp.net code grpc swagger right so this guy we have to install let me quickly install and once you install we have to configure in our main file program.cs file so go to that program.cs file and here we have to just add one extension method first right so first action method would be you know after reflection and before that build right 
सो वॉट इज माई फर्स्ट रिफ्लेक्शन मेथड सो दिस इज माई फर्स्ट एक्सटेंशन मेथड एट जी आर पी सी सोएगर राइट एंड देन अनोदर वन वॉट आई नीड टू डू आई हैव टू जस्ट कॉन्फिगर दैट एट सोएगर जनरेशन राइट सो दैट लेट मी लेट मी एड इट ओवर हियर विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम ओके सो दिस इज अनोदर थिंग्स सिंपली यू हैव टू यूज दैट एट सोएगर जैन and just use the lambda function use the swagger doc and just use that open api information and the title and version you just simply mention over here as a extension method right and once you done then go back to in here you have to use uh, some middleware for to you know uh, just run your swagger open ai in your browser right so what is that middleware first middleware it is after that builder you just add this app swagger right this is first map swagger and then second one is ui so let me add quickly that's ui as well now see this is it is simple right so use swagger ui add that swagger endpoint so this is actually endpoint of swagger once you call in a swagger it will automatically redirect and you know show all that endpoints so like that actually you have to configure and that's it let me quickly run it and see in action so it should be okay it is running now copy this guy open any browser and hit enter so it is fine it is perfectly fine but what i will do simply i will change to swagger right so let me add only just swagger once you add a swagger whatever endpoint you have just exposed you will get over here see i am just exposing one endpoint with the http one so that i am allowed to uh, to do whatever i want right so let me try to just this is dot net real world examples channel right so once you execute i am able to get that response everything right so like that actually you can just easily implement your reflection and allow to http request and also allow to open swagger api right so that's all for this session right and okay before closing this session what i will do i will push this code uh, uh, in our github link so that you can use it so let me add in my github link okay so this is that name i just created over here grpc reflection and http enable right because these are things we have to allow over here so let me push it and you can get it over here and now upcoming session actually will create in you know, another session will completely uh, do a completely we have handled that new survey how we can create new service how we can do you know all that is uh, endpoint like okay uh, insert update delete all all that card operation using that clean architecture right so that we will implement in upcoming session so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share for more motivation